Hello and welcome to EOS Weekly, your number one source of EOS news. Today is Tuesday, July 31st, and this week is a special edition episode. Among the various ways that block producers give back to the EOS community, we've identified 10 that stand out as unique among the other block producer projects, and we wanted to recognize them here. So today, we will be counting down through the top 10 most unique block producer projects. We will be moving through these fairly quickly, but the link to all these projects are in the show notes below. So, starting off with number 10 in our countdown, the 10 spot goes to Trade Stuff. Trade Stuff is a project by EOS SoCal, that's EOS Southern California. Trade Stuff provides a platform for moneyless barter, where users can trade things they no longer want or need for things they do. Trade Stuff is a fearless system and plans to put smart contracts and arbitration to work to ensure both sides of a given trade live up to their end of the bargain. The Trade Stuff algorithm is not limited to peer to peer barter. It supports something called multilateral trading. This means you don't have to trade one to one with the same person, but instead you can give your stuff to person A while getting something in return from person B. We believe this DAP could be especially useful in countries that do not have a stable form of currency. According to the Trade Stuff Roadmap, an MVP is already available as of July, but the important multilateral trading feature will be coming this November. Moving on to number nine, we have Project Gia. Project Gia is a project by the EOS Tribe block producer. When you think Project Gia, think EOS in space. Project Gia aims to run a full backup EOS node in space via miniaturized satellites keeping the main chain synchronized and beaming EOS blockchain information back to Earth via radio signal. With no other projects beaming anything to outer space, Project Gia by EOS Tribe definitely earned its spot among our most unique BP projects. There will be further announcements regarding Project Gia later this year. Number 8 in our countdown goes to Glass by Cypherglass. The goal of Glass is to provide transparency when it comes to block producer information. For example, in showing where on the global map a given block producer's servers are located. But it will also reveal things like the ownership structure. Who is financing this block producer and how big a percentage do they own? These are the things Glass will reveal. And having an informed populace of EOS token holders is essential to the block producer election process and ultimately to the health of the EOS ecosystem. Cypherglass is helping to inform the token holders with their project Glass. It is brand new with additional features for ownership structure transparency coming in August. Okay, on to number seven, the EOS Bridge Wallet by EOS New York. The options for EOS wallets is small but growing fast, and we plan to create an episode solely dedicated to the various wallets and the pros and cons of each in an upcoming episode. But the wallet being created by EOS New York is different from any of the other block producer wallets in that it is a hardware wallet. EOS Bridge will be an EOS exclusive hardware wallet and it is currently the only hardware wallet being created by any block producers. We don't know much else yet about this EOS New York project other than the codename EOS Bridge and the target date of January 1st, 2019 to have a prototype ready for testing. Moving on to number six, we have Higher Vibes. Higher Vibes is a dApp created by the block producer EOS Vibes. It matches up job seekers with employers in a decentralized way. Higher Vibes has a smart approach to tokenizing the exchange between job candidates and employers so as to cut out the middleman, which is in this case uh, recruitment agencies, and to align incentives in a way that ought to optimize the whole process. EOS Vibes has identified a great use case here with their Higher Vibes dApp, which will demonstrate to the world how this new tokenized economy will work. And the way Higher Vibes is designed, it should be beneficial to both sides of the hiring process. According to the roadmap on their website, Higher Vibes has an airdrop planned for Q3 2018 and pl plans a public beta launch on Q1 2019. Moving on to number five, the five spot goes to Telos. Telos is the first serious fork off of the EOSIO codebase, and it has some strong reputable block producers behind it. We included it in our list of the most unique block producer projects because there's nothing else like it at the moment and a lot of new, exciting ideas are being explored with Telos. In the near future, when they launch, we'll be able to see how some of these ideas play out in the real world. Having an alternative mainnet like Telos makes for a richer EOS ecosystem where the two chains can experiment and compete. The block producers behind Telos are EOS Detroit, EOS Metal, EOS UK, Dutch EOS, 
EOS Barcelona, Barcelona, EOS Vancouver, and EOS The World. Telos is targeting an August launch of their mainnet, and we wish them the best of luck. And that brings us to number four, the EOS DAC worker proposal system. EOS DAC is unique among the other block producers in that they are a DAC, D-A-C, a decentralized autonomous community. This means the owners of the EOS DAC tokens are the ones who own and run this block producer. This is a beautiful thing. It is fractal-like in nature in that the wider EOS ecosystem is itself a DAC, and within it, the pattern repeats itself again with this EOS DAC block producer, meaning EOS DAC is essentially a DAC within a DAC. One of the crucial projects that the EOS DAC launch team needs to complete in order to hand over control to the community is the worker proposal system. This is not to be confused with the larger EOS worker proposal system. EOS DAC is going to have its own separate worker proposal system as a way for the EOS DAC community to manage the funds and resources related to running this block producer. It is likely that the EOS DAC worker proposal system will be done before the wider EOS worker proposal system. And so the EOS community will be able to watch and learn from EOS DAC as they build this. Decentralized applications are also going to need some way of managing their funds and resources as well. Whether they call it a worker proposal system or not, if they are truly decentralized, they're going to need some version of this so that, they, so that their communities have a way of proposing work and prioritizing their backlogs in a transparent way. So the work being done right now by EOS DAC is setting an important precedent, and we hope it goes well. According to the roadmap on the EOS DAC website, they are targeting to have their worker proposal system done by the end of Q3 2018, so within the next few months or so. Moving on to number three, text traffic exchange token. TXT is a project by the block producer EOS Asia. It is aimed at decentralizing the internet advertising industry. This is a $335 billion industry, which is currently dominated by Google. If text traffic exchange token is successful, it has a chance to take out one of the biggest middleman companies of all time returning revenue to all the mom and pop stores out there trying to make a profit selling products and services online. According to the text website, currently 60% of profits from internet advertising goes to the middleman. This is an ambitious project and has the potential to be absolutely enormous. The official launch of the text network is targeted for Q4 of 2019, but you can see the interim milestones on the text roadmap on their website. Moving on to number two, EOS Finex. EOS Finex is a high-performance, trustless trading platform being built on EOS, and it is being built by Bitfinex, which is a block producer but is also the world's most popular cryptocurrency trading platform. Bitfinex has accrued a massive amount of expertise in building and running their platform, and the fact that they are applying all that experience towards the creation of EOS Finex is incredibly exciting. Bitfinex hosted a hackathon in London from July 20th to the 22nd, and at that event, they, for the first time, demonstrated an early version of EOS Finex. We don't have a target date for the EOS Finex launch, but we'll be watching this one closely and report on it in future episodes. And that brings us to the number one position in our list of the most unique block producer projects. And that top spot goes to... Chintai. Chintai is a project led by EOS42, but has multiple block producers involved. We'll share the full list in a moment. Chintai is a token leasing platform for the EOS blockchain. As you know, the purpose of EOS tokens is to provide access to EOS network resources. This includes CPU, network bandwidth, and RAM. Ultimately, it is the DAP developers that will put these EOS resources to work, and they're the target persona that we need to focus on and draw into the EOS ecosystem. But there are also token holders who own EOS purely as an investment. Today, this represents the majority of EOS token holders. Chintai bridges the gap between these two major use cases. It provides a way for investors who are not utilizing their resources to make them available to the DAP developers and profit from it in the process. This also provides a nice alternative to DAP developers who are more interested in renting space in the EOS network instead of owning. There will be DAPs that will need varying degrees of resources based on what season it is in the year, for example where it will be incredibly useful to up their network resources temporarily and then release them again. This is what makes Chintai so powerful and an absolute game changer in the EOS ecosystem. 
helping to draw in both dApp developers as well as investors. And if you think about it, what's been happening rec recently with the RAM price, it stands to reason that if you give investors the option of profiting from their EOS holdings by leasing them instead of speculating on RAM, most will likely prefer the leasing option. There is nothing else like this out there. And with the high positive impact this will likely have on the entirety of the EOS ecosystem, Chintai deserve, deservedly earned the number one spot in our list of the most unique block producer project. While EOS 42 is leading the charge on this initiative, a project of this size requires a group effort and there are multiple BPs involved. The other BPs sponsoring Chintai are EOS New York, EOS Detroit, EOS Canon, EOS Dublin, EOS Nation, EOS DAC, Oracle Chain, Eosphere, Eos SoCal, and Eos Tribe. According to Chintai's uh, Twitter feed, they are targeting to have an MVP ready by the end of August. Congratulations to all the block producers whose projects made our top 10 list, and thank you for all the value you continue to add to the Eos ecosystem. Are there any unique block producer projects that should have made our list? We want to hear from you. Please ping us on Twitter or leave a comment below, and we'll be sure to recognize those projects on future episodes. This concludes our special edition of EOS Weekly. Please like and subscribe if you found this content informative and you want to continue to stay current on EOS as this revolution unfolds. Thanks, and we'll see you next week right here on EOS Weekly.